the world was collapsing around Qatar. FIFA World Cup 2022 awarded to Qatar. And it's the first time Arab country hosting FIFA World Cup. Pressure was building up as the Gulf countries broke off the diplomatic ties and closed the borders with Qatar. Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain and Egypt have cut diplomatic ties with Qatar. At least seven countries cut diplomatic ties with Qatar Monday over its alleged support of terrorism. Qatar was banned from utilizing their airspace and sea routes. Saudi Arabia blocked Qatar's only land crossing. Qatar was now the center of an international feud with people and governments all around the world asking the same question. Can we trust Qatar? Qatar was simultaneously being called a sponsor of terrorism by the neighbor countries and a corruptionist by Western world. And other accusations were flying around from all directions. Qatar's 2022 World Cup selection process involved bribing the members of FIFA's executive committee. Qatari government has enslaved many workers for building their infrastructure for the mega event and the Kafala system. Climate conditions are not suitable for hosting World Cup in Qatar. Qatar has poor infrastructure to host an international event like FIFA. Wait, take a breath. Despite all the negative media attention, Qatar was focused. Developing a new city and building eight new stadiums was going well. More cash laid out than planned to replace suppliers that live next door. Malaysian steel mill was replacing Saudi. Oman provided materials originally ordered from the UAE. China was stepping into the breach with dozens of products. Some suppliers from bicarting nations were derouting shipment from Omani ports. Qatar was determined. Bicot won't affect 2022 World Cup. Foreign media viewed the crisis as a failure for Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Bahrain and the Egypt because Qatar generated closer ties with Iran and Turkey and became economically and military stronger and more autonomous. This plunged the prospect of Qatar hosting the FIFA World Cup 2022 with a whole new city with eight new stadiums and huge infrastructure in less than 12 years. In the process, Qatar has emerged as a much stronger nation, which was not possible in the absence of all these acquisitions and blockade. The Qatar 2022 committee said, Our commitment is to change working conditions in order to ensure a lasting legacy of improved worker welfare. We are aware that this can't be done overnight, but the 2022 FIFA World Cup is acting as a catalyst for improvements in this regard. Qatar reformed the kafala system to help protect the migrant workers. Minimum wage system was introduced. Qatar became the first country in the region to introduce a non-discriminatory minimum wage. Today we are a benchmark in the region when it comes to, for example, dismantling of the kafala system, implementing a uh, minimum wage, a non-discriminatory minimum wage system. Everybody is allowed to play here. This is our clinic and we have our gym and our internet cafe. Even though these reforms in the labor laws and minimum wage is not enough to match with Qatar's high cost of living, but every journey starts with a single step. FIFA President Gianni Infantino speaking at the Qatar Economic Forum in Doha made comparison between changes in Qatar and elsewhere. Infantino said, it took us in Europe hundreds of years to arrive where we are now. In this part of the world, in Qatar, it has been done in a few years. So it's clear that at the beginning, we need some time to assess it. The FIFA president noted that the World Cup in Qatar served as an opportunity for change in the country. Mabruk, Qatar. Qatar was not only reforming the laws, but introduced a whole new integrated public transport system including building a 75-kilometer-long Doha Metro. Qatar worked hard on its airline and Qatar Airways ranked number one in 2022. Welcome. If you believe Qatar is just a small, underdeveloped Middle Eastern country, you are wrong. 
Qatar's goal is to diversify the economy, shifting its exclusive dependence from petroleum and natural gas industries, investing not only on health, transport and education, but much attention is given to tourism and sports industry. FIFA World Cup 2022 would make a big difference and would change the Qatar's impression on the world. Qatar's World Cup 2022 is exciting and challenging as it's the first time ever any Arab country is hosting FIFA. The winner to organize the 222 FIFA World Cup is Qatar. But the real question is, are you excited too?